Hi, you are now watching season four of Running With Raymond. Initially, I started vlogging because I wanted something cool to show my kids one day. And the more I kept vlogging, the more motivation I had to succeed. And I also realized this was a lifelong commitment. You and I, we're gonna see this all the way through. From the good, from the bad, failures, and even all the glories. My hope is that we find the courage to put ourselves out there. Because we all have our own stories. And that's what makes us unique. <laughs> what does it taste like? Um, it's got a coffee undertone to it. It's like a really nice smooth mocha. Mm. Which is crazy considering this looks like a children's beverage. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in the world. It's a new episode of Running with Raymond, and today we are in Tokyo, Japan. Just a little bit later, we're gonna have some fun here in Tokyo. We're meeting up with a running crew called AFE. But before we can have that fun, we gotta put in the work first. It's like 6.30 a.m. in the morning right now. And we're meeting up with the crew in around uh, like 10, 10.30. on camera who's filming Raymond. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, we're on our way to Ginza to meet up with AFE. They are a running crew from Tokyo. This year I was a little bit more prepared and I asked around a few months in before the Japan trip and I was fortunate enough to be connected with them and we set up this run today which is a Saturday. A little special run. Um, and I can't wait, so here we go. In middle school, I was a fat kid and I wanted to join a sport so it could make me exercise and uh, the only sport I could really do was cross country because it was the easiest one. And uh, yeah, that, that kind of just started my running a little. Then I went on to do things like wrestling and football and track and stuff like that, but Cross country was the first school sports that I ever really tried. All very confused. Now we gotta switch over to that train. Now we are four stops away. I'm so excited. Kikashi Ginza is our stop. Now we're headed to this store called En Route. This is our meetup spot. And then we can run. This is RK, guys. Uh, hey. Hey, for your official photographer. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. iPhone, iPhone only. Oh, nice. Only. I'm bringing this with me. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you guys. Raymond. Oh, I'm Hans. Hans, nice to meet you. I'm Seppi. Seppi, nice to meet you. I'm Endo. Endo, nice yeah. to meet you. Hi. I'm Ara. Ara. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and look who's here. Oh. <laughs> and today we are running with AFE. Hey, <laughs> 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 I'm so tired <laughs> already. Already? Yeah. <laughs> We're stopping real quick for some photos, of course. There we go. Oh man, this is nice. How are you guys feeling? Pretty good. Good. <laughs> Feels nice running with other runners, open road. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another photo op, I think. Oh, more running. I'll go here. There you go. <laughs> Emmy is from here from Tokyo. Yeah. And I'm so excited we're finally running together. Yeah, and then this Harumi. Harumi? Harumi Futo. Oh, Harumi wow. Futo. Wow. Uh, 
check it out, oh, guys. Yeah. This is so That's beautiful. Cool. Yeah, beautiful view. Ooh. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Zion, you you think you'd be doing this today? No, not not at all. <laughs> <laughs> fishing market. It's all closed now. But this is what it looks like. Imagine like 4 a.m. This place is like opening up, packed with like fresh produce, fresh fish, freshly caught from everything. People bidding and stuff like that. That's crazy. Watch out, dude. Time to start running. Quick little trip to the fish market and now we're back in the sun. We are at Kabukiza. Okay. This is the traditional, traditional temple. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Shiata. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hey. 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 And we just finished the run. We're all showered and everything, feeling clean. AFP. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. My comment, very sweet. Hey. We're about to go eat now. We get some pizza in Harajuku. Harajuku, omote sando. Omote sando. Omote sando. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get some pizza right now. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> Me too. I feel like I'm back in New York. All right, bye. <laughs> it was cool hanging out with AFE, eating some pizza, them taking us everywhere from, you know, the cool abandoned roads to, I don't even know where we were at sometimes, and then we went to the fish market. It was just an awesome, awesome experience. So we stopped by the Lion Store. The Lion Store is a physical store for the Line app, which is Japan's main messaging system. And they sell these cute little things. These are like emojis in the Line app. Oh, then you can save all your coins in there. Look at that. This is the Shibuya crossing, which is the busiest intersection in the world, apparently. There's a lot of people here. It's crazy. I was finally able to bridge the gap when we travel to different places and coming from the New 
York running culture, then being welcome to Tokyo running community, being able to run as if you were running with your crew, because your crew is the world. If you're able to bridge the gap, you have a crew anywhere in the world. And for me, that was really exciting because basically the crew welcomed me as if I was one of their own. And that's what bridging the gap is. And that's something that I finally experienced in real life. You know, I was in New York. Yes, I've been able to run with different running crews, but running with different crews from the area is a little bit different than running with a running crew from the other side of the world. I'm not saying go out there and travel right now so you can bridge your own gap. I mean, not everyone is fortunate enough to be able to do that. And that's something I've been experiencing for the past five years with Weekfest. What does bridging the gap mean to you? You might even have to think about it for a while, but go ahead and answer that down below and let us all know what bridging the gap means to you. To me, bridging a gap means being part of a community that I care for and cares back. Now I want to know what you think bridging the gap means down below share that with all of us and let us all know all right and i hope you guys enjoyed this episode this is episode 20 of season four of running with raymond this is raymond and i will see you guys later don't forget to follow me on twitter down below and subscribe to our channel up there see ya. My hope is that we find the courage to put ourselves out there because we all have our own stories and that's what makes us unique. What's going on everyone? It's a new episode. It's a new day. We are here in somewhere in Japan in between the 